I want to bring to you the word of God today. Na, I want to share a message entitled, God is looking for a man. God is looking for a man. Na, ningependa kusema ya kwamba, ili makusudi ya mungu ya weze kutendeka hapa duniani, mungu hufanya kazi pamoja na watu. Kama vile vile tu shetani, pia yeye hufanya kazi na wanadamu, walio jitoa kwake. Nae mungu hutumia watu ambao wamejitoa kwake. And this is very clear in the Bible that every time God wanted to deliver his people, he did not look for an army. He sought for a man. Alitafuta mtu ambaye angemtumia alete ukombozi. Mungu alipotaka kukomboa taifa la Israel lilipokuwa kule Misri utumwani alienda akatafuta mtu a humble man his name is Moses na Mungu akapata kumtumia hakutafuta jeshi kubwa la kufanya kazi naro alitafuta a man ambaye angefanya kazi na yeye and if you read through the history of the nation of Israel especially when you read the book of Judges, utaona ya kwamba every time Israel cried to the Lord because of the oppression of their enemies, the Bible says that God raised a man from their midst. Sometimes God would raise a woman like Deborah and others. Praise the name of the living God. Men and women who are used to bring deliverance. Praise the name of the living God. As much as we are in a crowd, I just want to tell you that God does not use a crowd. Anatumia watu binafsi. Watu ambao, they are surrendered to God. And I want to tell you without any shadow of doubt that there is a remnant that God is seeking. Even in our midst today, even in the church today, there is a remnant that God is seeking. And that remnant, God is going to overshadow them with the power of the Holy Spirit. And he is going to use them in a mighty way. God will always use ordinary people to do the extraordinary. When he comes into your life, he doesn't care your limitations. He doesn't care your weakness. One thing he desires is a man or a woman who is wholly surrendered to God. He spoke to David, and he told David, when he was a shepherd boy, I'll make your name greater, like the greatest kings of the earth. Daudi alikuwa tukijana, anafuata mifugo kule marishon. Lakini alipo angalia moyo wake, akasema, I have found a man, who is going to do all that I please. Even today, God is looking for men. God is looking for women who can do all that he pleases. Kwa sababu kuna mambo mungu ya natamani kuyafanya katika wakati huu. Na natafuta watu waliona moyo ambao naweza kuatumia. Na kiwapata. It's like David was a reject. Kwa sababu wata wakati Samuel alienda katika nyumba ya Jesse. Jesse alisema hawa ndiyo watoto wangu wote. Haku consider David ya kwamba alikuwa kule marishoni. He was a nobody before the eyes of his family. Let me tell you, you can be a nobody before the eyes of men. But God can say, you are the man, you are the woman that he is looking for. It doesn't matter the rejection. Praise the name of the living God. It doesn't matter who is looking down on you. Praise the name of the living God. But God can pick you up from wherever you are. May God find a remnant in our midst. In this big crowd that we have today, in this Sunday service, and them that are watching me, may God find a remnant. This generation will not continue suffering. This generation will not suffer a breakout. There are men and women who are going to know God and make him known in our generation. Praise the name of the living God. The Bible says in the book of um, Isaiah 51 and verse 18, the Bible says, Isaiah 51, 18, of all the sons 
she bore, there was none to guide her. Of all the sons she reared, there was none to take her by the hand. These double calamities have come upon you. Who can comfort you? Ruin and destruction. Famine and sword. Who can console you? Your sons have fated. They lie at the head of every street, like antelope caught in a net. They are filled with the, they are filled with the love of the Lord and the rebuke of your God. Therefore, hear this, you afflicted, one made drunk, but not with wine. This is what the sovereign Lord says. You are God who defends his people. See, I have taken out of your hand the cup that made you stagger. From that cup, the goblet of my love, you will never drink again. I will put it into the hands of the tormentors who say to you, fall prostrate that we may walk over you. And you made your back like the ground, like a street to be walked over. Ukisoma maandiko haya, yanaanza kusema awake, awake, lies up o Jerusalem. Yanaongea juu ya Jerusalem, yanaongea juu ya Israel. Because when God is speaking about the capital, he is also speaking about the nation. Na tunaona ya kwamba Mungu anasema your enemies has brought you very low. Maadui wako wamekuleta chini mpaka wanakwambia rara tukanyange mgongo wako. That is how Israel was brought low. It was shameful. It was demeaning. Ya kwamba maadui wanakwambia rara na uweke mgongo wako sawa sawa tukanyange ili tukaweze kupita lakini Mungu anasema shida yako ni kwa sababu shida yake iko mstari wa 18 ya kwamba of all the sons she bore there was none to guide her of all the sons she reared there was none to take her by the hand Yaani kwa watoto wake wote hakuna hata mmoja ambaye angemuongoza hakuna hata mmoja ambaye angemuelekeza yani Jerusalem ama Israel ilikosa mtu ambaye angewaongoza ili waweze kuwa na ushindi dhidi ya maadui zao ili waweze kukombolewa na hatari ambayo ilikuwa imewazingira hii ni ishara ya kwamba you can lea sons Unaweza kuwa na wana wengi. Kunaweza kuwa na kanisa kama hii kubwa. Kunaweza kuwa na taifa. Like so many nations here in Africa. They are suffering. Because they lack sons and daughters. Who can be able to guide them? Who can be able to tell them, this is the way to come out of poverty. This is the way to come out of the oppression of the enemy. Kuna kosa a son. Kuna kosa a daughter ambaye anaweza kuongoza mataifa mengi ya Afrika yanakaa katika aibu tunachekerewa na maadui zetu may god have mercy upon us just look at this picture if it happens in a family ya kwamba mama amezaa watoto lakini katika watoto wale ambao wamezaliwa katika ile nyumba hakuna hata mmoja ambaye anaweza kuleta uongozi wa kuondoa ile jamii ikaondoka katika kufinyiriwa na kuteswa na maadui zake kwa nini biblia inasema ya kwamba of all the sons there was none because if there was one kama kungekuwa na mmoja Jerusalem Israel haungepitia mambo ya aibu ambayo uliyapitia ya kufika kiwango cha maadui zako kukwambia rara tukanyange mgongo wako kama barabara 
alipitia hiyo shida kwa sababu katikati ya wanawake wote hakuna hata mmoja ambaye angemshika mkono amwambie ondoka kwa umasikini ondoka kwa magonjwa ondoka kwa kufinyiriwa ondoka kwa mateso there was none of all the sons that she reared there was none praise the name of the living god may god may god raise a son may god raise a daughter in this ministry Praise the name of the living God. May God raise a son in your family. We mama ulie mahali hapa. Si ulilie mungu muambie buwana. Kusikose muwana katika hijami. It's good to cry for our families. Because my message is God is looking for a man. And sometimes when you look in the history, even in families, wakati mwingi mungu watumi watu wengi. Anaweza kutumia mtu moja katika jami akaondoa aibu Mungu hutamani ainue mtu mmoja awe nuru hata kama ni katika jamii awe msaada wa wengine Na kwa hivyo ninapokuambia ujiombe ninakuambia ujiombe ni kwa sababu Mungu hatumii umati wa watu Mungu anatumia mtu ambaye amejitoa kwake Tunaweza kujiangalia katika umati I have always taught you ya kwamba you just need to state your own standard. Wewe ujielewe wewe ni nani? Ujielewe ni kitu gani Mungu anakuitia kufanya? Ujielewe mambo yale ambayo Mungu ameweka ndani ya moyo wako ambayo angependa kuyatimiza katika mwaka wa 2019. Wacha kujifananisha na watu wengine. Kwa sababu sisi wote tukifanana tutakuwa kama Jerusalem, tutakuwa kama Israel. The same word If you, look, if you read the book of um, Ezekiel, chapter 22, and verse 30, the Bible says, Ezekiel 22, verse 30, I looked for a man among them who would build up the wall and stand before me in the gap on behalf of the land, so I would not have to destroy it, but I found none. So I will pour out my love on them and consume them with my fierly anger bringing bringing down on their heads all they have done declares the sovereign lord mungu anasema kwamba i looked for a man not for men i looked for a man among them who would build up the wall the same words we see in the book of isaiah that among the son you lead o you jerusalem O you Israel there was none to hold you by the hand Hakukutokea hata mmoja ambaye anaweza kukuambia hii ndio jia Hakukutokea hata mmoja ambaye angeleta ukombozi katikati yako Aibu ya namna gani kuwe na wana wengi lakini hata hakuna mmoja ambaye Mungu amemsaidia ameinuka awe msaada Mungu asiache taifa hili. Tuwe na makanisa mengi, tuwe na watumishi wengi, lakini kukose hata mmoja ambaye anaweza shika shika Kenya mkono, aambie Kenya, hii ndiyo njia utatokea ili usifinyiriwe na maadui zako. Maadui zako wasikufikishe mahali pa kukuambia rara chini tukanyange mgongo wako kama barabara. Tunamwambia Bwana hatutafika mahali pale. Praise the name of the living God. A nation can get to that place of being humbled by her enemies. Because there is no man. Hakuna hata moja. Hakuna anayeona nuru. Hakuna aliye na ufahamu. Hakuna aliye na uwezo. Hakuna aliyeweza kusimama vizuri na Mungu akajitoa. I really appreciate. And when uh, I was meditating on this message, the Holy Spirit would help me that there are so many who have been able to offer sacrifices and they have offered their lives to God. Kuna wengi wamejitoa. Kuna wengi katikati yetu ambao wamelipa gharama. Lakini bado wengi wetu kuna bwea wadogo ambao hatujaweza kuwashughulikia. 
wengi kuna kiwango ambacho Mungu anatarajia ya kwamba tutaweza kufikia lakini hatujaweza kufikia Mungu ana appreciate kujitoa kwetu ana appreciate gharama ambayo tumelipa kama vile aliandikia kanisa katika kitabu cha ufunuo ya kwamba najua bidii yako najua kujitoa kwako lakini bado angalia mahali ambapo umeanguka kutoka ule upendo wa kwanza si Mungu atusaidie ya kwamba katikati yetu baada ya kulipa gharama kubwa baada ya hii safari yote wengi tumeachilia mambo mengi wapendwa je tutaachilia mambo haya yote na tufike mahali ya kwamba we cannot bring salvation iwe ya kwamba tutazaa upepo hatutaleta wokovu katika jamii zetu hatutaleta wokovu katika taifa letu hatutaleta wokovu katika mataifa ya, ya ulimwengu tunakataa kuzaa upepo katika jina la Yesu Kristo na kataa kuzaa upepo katika jina la Yesu Kristo mimba ile ambayo nimeibeba kwa miaka mingi gharama ambayo nimebeba nimelipa kwa miaka mingi nimejitoa kwa Bwana kwa miaka mingi na kataa kuzaa upepo Mungu atanisaidia nijitoe mahali ambapo pamebaki nishughulikie bwea wadogo ambao wanaharibu mizabibu ambayo imechanuka lazima matunda yangu ya kumtumikia Bwana ya kumgoja Bwana yakaweze kuonekana katika jina la Yesu Praise the name of the living God It is unfortunate that Jerusalem leared sons but among the sons that he leared there was none hakuna hata mmoja ambaye aliweza kuinuka Wapendwa kuna uwezekano kuwa na watu wengi iwe ni na family na church na nation lakini kukose a deliverer kukose wa kusaidia na hili ni jambo ambalo linafaa kuombewa na sio tu kujiombea tu sisi wenyewe kuomba ya kwamba Mungu atainua watu katika taifa hili true prophets true men and women of god genuine ambao Mungu anaweza kuwatumia ndio maadui wetu maadui wa Kenya wasituchekere we need to pray to god without any spirit of competition it's not about who is going to become better or bigger but when a nation racks a man ambaye anaweza kusema this is a direction this is what god is saying this is how you can receive your healing that nation is in danger praise the name of the living god hallelujah because god will always use a man upende usipende mungu hutafuta mtu ambaye atakayemtumia ili aweze kuleta ukombozi na haifai ya kwamba pia hata hapa kanisani ya kwamba i cannot go for a week i cannot go for a month i should be able to go for three months praise the name of the living god and be able to minister to other people because there is a lot of hunger there and that is why we need to pray won't god raise men and women in our midst because there is a demand because there is a need praise the name of the living god hallelujah bila kuona watu ambao wameinuka tutakuwa na shida kama ile ilikuwa jerusalem ya kwamba katikati ya watoto wake wote hakuna hata mmoja ambaye aliinuka kuwa msaada ninakataa hiyo roho ya kuwa na watu wengi lakini kukose watu wanaoinuka ninatangaza ya kwamba katika nyumba hii kuna wana watakao inuka katika kila eneo watakao kuwa msaada watakao tumika na Bwana katika jina la Yesu Kristo ninaondoa vizuizi ninaondoa upinzani katika jina la Yesu Kristo ninaondoa uzito eh hey, ninaondoa majeraha katika jina Yesu Kristo and I declare a rising of sons and daughters in the mighty name of Jesus 
Oh, sons and daughters uh, who are going to be raised for signs and wonders uh, in the mighty name uh, of Jesus. The success of my man is said to be that what he has been able to build can stand even in his absence. That is success. My success is when I'm away, this ministry can continue to function and to be effective. Praise the name of the living God. Even in my absence. That is what we call success. Bwana pewe sifa. Lakini siyo ati ni kiondoka kila mtu nauliza aposto wako wapi. Ni kiondoka wengine hawakuji kanisani. Wanasema hata hakuna haji ya kuja kanisani. Hiyo ndiyo ilifanyika kwa Jerusalem. Aliinua wana. Lakini katikati ya wanaware wote alio inua. Hakuna hata moja alie chipuka. Haka inuka. Haka we msaada. Ninasema hiyo roho haita kuwa na nguvu katika nyumba hii. Kutakuwa na wana watakao kuwa msaada. Daudi alifuatwa na watu wa kawaida. Watu walio kuwa na madeni. Watu walio kakua katika katika dhiki. Lakini baada ya kumfuata Daudi, we see the mighty men of David. Men who did exploits. Praise the name of the living God. I declare there will be men and women of exploits in this church. In the mighty name of Jesus. The grace I call it. The anointing I carry, we raise men and women of exploit in the mighty name of Jesus. Kutazariwa watu wakubwa katika nyumba hii. Kutazariwa watu watakao kuwa msaada katika nyumba hii. Kutazariwa watu ambao wanaweza kusimama even in international platform na waweze kuhubiri. Wakati mataifa ya nasema njo ama tutumie watu kuna watu wanaweza kutumwa and they able represent the ministry in the mighty name of Jesus i declare they are rising in the mighty name of Jesus i destroy every barrier every limitation in the mighty name of Jesus rise up and take the position of a deliverer in the mighty name of Jesus. Bwana sifuwe sana. What am I trying to say? When you are a mother and you have three sons and three daughters and none of them can be able to buy you a dress. All of them they are coming to you wanakwambia mama unaweza kuwa na kitu. Mama unaweza kuwa na kitu na umewalea na ni watu wakubwa Nataka ni kuambia kwamba hayo sio mapenzi ya Mungu. That is not the will of God. Ni vizuri kama mama unamwambia Bwana raise a man in this house who is going to become a deliverer. Not everyone will be well up in the family. But it is the will of God to raise a man, to raise a woman. Ya kwamba wale wengine wanaweza enda wakamuliria na akasema enda nyumba haitafungwa enda mtoto huyu ambaye ako shule enda huyo mtoto akasome praise the name of the living god hallelujah lakini ikiwa katika jamii watu wote wakikutana ni shida watu wote wakikutana ni machozi hakuna hata mmoja aliye na uwezo wa kuwa msaada kwa wale wengine there is a curse that need to be broken there are powers in operation that need to be destroyed Praise the name of the living God. Kuna shida mahali pale. Mahali ambapo hakuna hata mmoja wa kushika mama ama baba mkono. Akamwambia baba, twende nikakunulie nguo. Baba amezaa watoto. Lakini wote wanalia shida. Hakuna hata mmoja wa kumwambia baba ni wakati wako upumzike, ulitulea. Sasa wacha tukuje ng'ee nyumba nzuri. Sasa wacha na sisi tukaweze kukushughulikia. Wengine hata wanamwambia toka kishangi, kuja ukae hapa na mimi. Unapikiwa hapa unakula vizuri. Praise the name of the living God. Kuna kuwa na moja wakati mama amezeka, wakati baba amezeka, kuna moja wa kumshika mkono. Namwambia jo tukae na wewe. Jo ukae kwangu. Nimeona sons and daughters waliokana wazazi wao wakati wamegoncheka, wakati wamezeeka, wanakana wao. Wanawalisha kama watoto. Wanawatengenezea, wanawekewa hata bedroom. 
Pengine sio kila wakati ataweza ku fellowship na family, anawekewa ta TV yake kwa bedroom. Akiwa pale kwa bedu na kitanda chake na TV yake anakama alipazuri because there is one Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Jina la bana nipewe sifa. Sijui ni mwimbaji mmoja aliimba na wimbo wa Greek akasema nyumba ya Daudi. Dekaga kikege kia kushuria tawa. Nyumba ya Daudi haitakosa kikingi cha kuweka taa. Kuna mtu ambaye Mungu akibaliki jamii. Kuna kuwa na mmoja anakuwa kama kikingi cha kuweka taa. Ili nyumba isijae giza. Tunasema Mungu Kenya haitajaa giza. Kutakuwa na kikingi cha kuweka taa ya Kenya, inchi hii haitakuwa na giza. Katika jina Yesu haitakuwa na giza hata ya kisiasa. Tunakataa Kenya hautakuwa na giza. Utakuwa na kikingi cha kuweka taa ya kuangazia taifa hili. We scatter the darkness that is rising over this nation and we declare God we raise a man. God we raise a woman in the mighty name of Jesus that the light of God may shine in the nation in the name of Jesus mama watoto wako wote hawatakuwa walevi hawatakuwa makahaba hawatakuwa tu wakuzaa watoto wakileta nyumbani si Mungu ainue moja ambaye atakuwa kikingi cha kuweka taa ya hiyo jamii naombea miji yetu haitakosa kikingi Ke, kuwe na moja katika kila muji wakati miji na jagiza si kuwe na moja awe kikingi cha kuweka taa ya huo muji ya hicho kijiji ili uovu usitaware ili ukombozi wa Bwana uonekane kila babu shanda baganda kila babu riariatai Shata rabaganda baburia Shata rabaganda si Mungu ainue reka baganda watu watakao simamia makusudi ya Mungu watu watakao simama kwa jina la Bwana watu ambao hawataogopa kutangaza neno la Bwana people who are going to be selfless in the mighty name of Jesus ya kwamba hawadhamini maisha yao sana Paul alisema maisha yangu sio kitu kama tu mimi naweza kutimiza kusudi mandeta ambayo Mungu amenipatia hii roho ya kujipenda inaharibu mambo mengi hata katika taifa limejawa na corruption kwa sababu ya the spirit of greed the spirit of selfishness watu wanajipenda when god is raising you to be the man to be the woman he does not raise you for your own yani vizuri kuelewa that even in a family god can raise you but he has not raised you because of your selfish needs ujipende wakati unajenga manyumba ya gorofa wengine hata rent hawana ni nyumba wanafungiwa it is a shame bibi anasema ya kwamba he who does not help members of his own family is one than an infidel ni mbaya mtu ambaye hawezi kusaidia watu wa damu yake wanateseka na ako na uwezo nataka nikwambie kwamba huyo mtu ni mbaya kuliko kafiri praise the name of the living god mungu haja tuumba uone watu wa damu yako wakiteseka na haujali na uko na uwezo mungu huinua moja wa kushika wale wengine mkono anawaambia njia ndiyo hii Toka katika hii aibu Jerusalem iliingia katika aibu kwa sababu katikati ya wana wote waliozaliwa kulikosekana hata mmoja Praise the name of the living God Hallelujah Si Mungu awainue muwe sons and daughters even in your families who can support other family members because you have this knowledge because you have been taught the word of god praise the name of the living god wewe unaweza ku extend msaada anza katika kile kiwango huko anza na ule uwezo mdogo uko nao when you are faithful with the little god can instruct you with much in the mighty name of jesus wewe wa kuondoa aibu 
katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Uwe wa kupanguza wengine machozi wanapolia katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Pokea hiyo neema katika majira haya maombi. Si Mungu akuinue. Uwe wa kuondoa aibu. Uwe wa kupanguza wengine machozi. Uwe wa kushika wengine mkono. May this anointing raise you up in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, that you may become a deliverer, that you may become a helper. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, may you make a cry before the Lord uh, this week, uh, because God uh, is looking for a man uh, who can be a channel to be used of God uh, to bring healing, uh, to bring deliverance. Uh, to comfort, uh, Mungu anasema, there is none to comfort you. There is none to comfort you. I declare that God is raising comforters. People who can bring comfort in the family. Hey, may God raise you to be a deliverer. shanda. Jamii zinatembea katika aibu. Jamii zinapitia katika shida. Hakuna wakufariji watu katika jamii. Wote ni kupigania simu. Huyu akienda kutafuta msaada kwa huyu anasema mimi ndio shida zimejaa kwangu hata mtoto amelala hospitali afadhali we unatafuta karo hakuna mtu wa kufariji Biblia inasema ya kwamba katikati ya wana ulio wazaa wote haukupata hata mmoja wa kukushika mkono haukupata hata mmoja ambaye anaweza kukushika mkono may god have mercy upon us praise the name of the living god na sasa anaambiwa kwamba who can comfort you nani atakaye kufariji nani atakaye kufariji hauna wa kukushika mkono hauna wa kukusaidia hauna ambaye anaweza kukuondoa katika shida yako Praise the name of the living God. I destroy that spirit ambayo ufanya watu wasiinuke kusiwe na mmoja wa kufariji. Ninavunja hiyo roho, ninaangusha hiyo ngome, ninatangaza Kenya utakuwa na wakukufariji. Ninatangaza huduma hii itakuwa na watu wa kuleta faraja katika jina la Yesu Kristo ninatangaza oh my father katika jamii zetu kutakuwa na watu wa kuleta faraja katika miji yetu kutakuwa na watu wa kuleta faraja watu wanaobeba neema ya Mungu watu wanaobeba kibari cha Mungu watu walioshikana na Bwana watu ambao Mungu waki, Mungu akitaka kutembea katika muji anasema niko na mtu wa kutembelea ili nikaweze kutembelea muji Mungu akasema nitaendaje kumaliza Sodom na Gomora na nisija mwambia Abraham Oh my God wakati Mungu alienda kwa Abraham ni kwa sababu kulikuwa na mmoja na Abraham akaweza kuwa msaada hata kama Sodom ilichomwa Ruth aliweza kukombolewa Oh aliweza kukomboa watu wa nyumba yake si Mungu aweze kutuinua si tumulilie Mungu tumwambie Bwana leta wa rising kama because you are looking for a man in the mighty name of Jesus I have come to tell you you are the man you are the daughter you are the son that God is going to raise in the mighty name of Jesus hata katika kanisa hili ninatangaza Mungu atainua watu wa kuleta faraja hatutakuwa tunalia sisi wote shida hapana ninakataa nafungua watu ambao Mungu atawainua in the mighty name of Jesus ninafungua watu walio na uwezo wa kiroho ninafungua watu walio na uwezo wa kifedha ninakataa roho ya spiritual dwarfism hatutakuwa na madwafa hatutakuwa na watu wote walio kiwango kimoja ninafungua a remnant watakaoinuka katika majira haya 
in the mighty name of Jesus uh, the remnant uh, hao ambao bwana amewaangalia akaona hawa ni waaminifu akaona hawa watakuwa wakuleta faraja akaona hawa wataleta msaada akaona hawa watakuwa wakuondoa aibu hata katika nyumba yangu in the mighty name of Jesus uh, kukiwa na hitaji katika nyumba la bwana sio wote wanalia sio wote wanasema watoto hawajaenda shule sio wote wanasema hatuna karo kutakuwa na wakuleta faraja ninakatana na nguvu za giza ambazo huweka watu wote chini eh hey, tunasema maadui zetu hatutalala chini mtu kanyange tunakataa god is raising our deliverers in the mighty name of jesus hatutatembea katika aibu tunakataa tunakataa Kenya utapata viongozi hata wa kisiasa viongozi watakao beba taa ya Kenya Kenya hautakanyangwa na maadui zako i declare that god is going to raise deliverers hey in every area my god nani anapokea neema hii nani anapokea upako huu nani anasema bwana Bwana mimi nitakuwa wakufariji mimi nitakuwa wakuangazia wengine eh hey, shatara baganda baboshe reka baganda baburia reka baganda baboshe reka baganda ribaboyata reka baganda baboshe reka baganda rima reka baganda rima shatara baganda rima makataya baganda shata baganda Shata baganda nakataa kuzaa wana ambao hakuna hata moja ambao hakuna hata moja ambao hata kuna moja wa kuangaza wa kuongoza peri ya baganda bashata peri ya baganda bashata peri ya baganda eh hey, may god raise a remnant may god raise a remnant in this house today hey shata baganda bayata hey shata maganda Hey shatara baganda hey shatara baganda shatara maganda mapepo yote ya kufinyilia watu ili wawe bure ili kukosekane hata moja hayo mapepo hizo ngome na ziangusha na zikataa hata katika taifa letu hata katika miji yetu may god raise territorial governing churches in our nation churches that are going to take dominion churches that are going to govern every territory of our nation in the mighty name of Jesus hatutavamiwa na maadui hatutaibishwa na maadui maadui zetu sikia hamuta tukanyanga mugongo tunakataa 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 sisi sio wa kukanyangwa mugongo tunakataa hey katikati ya wana waliozaliwa kunao wanainuka nyota zao zitangara 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 hey 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 katikati ya vijana nyota zao zitangara katikati ya wamama nyota zao zitangara katikati ya wazee i release this grace i release this anointing in the mighty name of jesus 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 kila baba babo meka hata baganda baboria meka hata baganda baboshe reka baganda ribabo serebegenda reka baganda i destroy the curtain i destroy the covering in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus kila babo shanda this is my cry this is my prayer Reka baganda baboshe reka baganda reka baganda baboshe reka baganda riba Kenya hautakosa kikingi cha kuweka taa yako reka baganda baboshe reka baganda taa ya Kenya haitazimika reka baganda baboshe reka baganda baboshe nafungua watu katika jamii ninafungua watu katika jamii watoto wenu wote wazazi walio hapa nafungua watoto katika jamii zenu 
nafungua watoto katika jamii zetu no kinyakugi enomwe lazima kuwe na moja lazima kuwe na moja lazima kuwe na moja lazima hey 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 shata maganda reka baganda mazata reka baganda wanafunguliwa mahali wako wanafunguliwa mahali wako lazima kuwe na moja 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 shata rabaganda wakukufariji eh hey, shata maganda shata maganda hata kukiwa na moja mulevi kuna moja wa kukufariji ukimwangalia unasema ninashukuru Mungu amenipatia huyu mtoto amekuwa faraja kwa moyo wangu kwa moyo wangu wewe ni wa faraja faraja kwa wazazi faraja kwa nyumba ya Bwana faraja kwa kanisa oh yeah! ni nani kanisa wataangalia wakati kuna uongo mwingi wakati kuna udanganyifu mwingi kanisa liseme tunaye moja tunaye moja anabeba ta anabeba ta anabeba ta anabeba ta hatutakuwa na giza shata rabagana tusimame na miguu yetu naombea wale wote wamekuwa kinitazama mahali popote ulipo wewe ndiye utakuwa kikingi cha kuwekwa ta katika hiyo jamii katika huo muji katika hili taifa na mataifa hatutakuwa na giza tunakataa kuwa na giza lazima kuwe na mmoja wa kuleta faraja rekabaganda baboshi ninafungua maisha yako nafungua mwito wako nafungua hatima yako uwe wa kuleta faraja kila bashan